I'm extremely fortunate that I'm able to represent a lot of companies that do underground excavation. And I want to explain uh, the, the act that's contained in section 556.101 at Sequitur, Florida Statutes, uh, so that you can understand how you can immunize yourself from liability by following the act's requirements. I recently had a contractor that reached out to me that did exactly what I'm about to tell you. And by doing so, in addition to a boundary survey, was able to immunize that company from liability because the underground utility that was impacted and affected, uh, it was a significant sum of money that was damage done to a box that uh, was not maintained by the utility and was on private property. We were able to uh, essentially uh, defend, successfully defend the company because uh, there was the boundary survey that shows it was the utility was not in the right of way where it should have been. It was on private property and the Sunshine 811 call did not identify where this underground utility was, so uh, we prevail. But it's important that you follow these steps precisely. And I'm going to reference my notes. I apologize in advance, but the information I'm about to give you is extremely valuable. The Underground Facility Damage Prevention and Safety Act, as I said, is contained in Sections 556.101 at Sequitur Florida Statutes. Throughout this act, the Florida legislature created uh, through this act, excuse me, the Florida legislature created a nonprofit corporation called Sunshine State One Call of Florida Inc., otherwise known as Sunshine 811. Sunshine 811's primary duty is the location and coordination of underground excavation for the purpose, for the express purpose of preventing damage to improvements from excavation. If a contractor fails to comply with this act, a rebuttable presumption will arise that the excavator was negligent should any damages occur. That can be overcome. It's rebuttable, which means that you just have to tender evidence to show that you were not negligent. Please note that Sunshine 811 is neither permitted nor required to either locate or mark underground, ut underground utilities. Excuse me. Any violator of the act may be assessed a civil penalty ranging from one to five thousand dollars by the applicable local government entity that issued the permit. Under the act, not less than two business days before commencing any excavation or demolition save an excavation beneath the waters of the state of Florida, which I'm not going to get into here. That's far too complicated. An excavator shall provide the following information to Sunshine 801. Here are the nine steps. Number one, name, street address, and telephone number of individual providing information. Number two, name, street address, and telephone number of the person's employer. Three, name, telephone number, and email address for the representative for the excavator in order to facilitate a positive response by the system if available. Number four, the county, city, or closest city, and the street address or nearest intersection to the location of the excavation or demolition being performed, including the construction limits thereof. Number five, the commencement date and anticipated duration of the excavation or demolition. Six, the type of work to be done uh, and whether machinery will be used for the operation. Number seven, the person or entity for whom the work is being performed. Number eight, the type of work to be performed. And nine, the approximate depth of the, of the excavation. The information is given when you call the statewide toll-free number during business hours. That number is 1-800-432-4700. Or simply dial 811. Please remember that notification received outside of business hours is considered received the next business day. If a member operator determines that there is a proximity to or a conflict with an underground facility of the operator, that operator shall mark and identify by stakes, paint, flags, or other suitable means the location of the facility within 24 inches from the outer edge of either side. The uniform color code for utilities of the American Public Works Association, APWA, shall be used for horizontal marking. If the horizontal markings are at any point removed or fall off, they must promptly be replaced. This marking must occur within two business days of the notification. Please note that an excavator may not ignore a known underground facility, even though it has not been marked. Instead, the demolition shall not proceed until the underground facilities have been marked, located, and if possible, removed. Please, that is critically important. A member operator who certifies that it does not have accurate information is exempt from marking, but shall provide the best available information to the excavator. 
in such event the excavator is not liable for damage to an underground facility if the excavation is performed with reasonable care. And that is almost always the number one defense. In the event of an emergency, Sunshine 811 must be notified of the excavation within the earliest opportunity. It still may proceed, providing reasonable precautions are taken to pr protect any underground facilities. And finally, an emergency. You need to know what the definition of emergency is for purposes of this act. The emergency is defined as, number one, escape of a material or substance transported by an underground facility. Number two, interruption or vital public service or communication caused by a break or defect in a member operator's underground facility. Or three, use of highways, streets, or roads owned, operated, or maintained by a governmental entity that is impaired by an unforeseen occurrence which necessitates immediate repair. I know that's a lot to take in. I hope it's helpful for you. Please, if you have any questions or concerns, reach out to me. I do this every day. Thank you very much.